Hello and welcome to Express Mobility. Today we have very special guest, Mr. Tarun Gar, Director Sales and Marketing, Hyundai Motor India, to talk about it's one of the most important product Hyundai venue, which almost contributes about 22 percent of the total sales and 42 percent of its SUV sales. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Dipan Show. Sir, first of all, I would like to understand about the Hyundai's uh, venues, new avatar. What kind of changes you have done and which market you are targeting, which customer space So, thank you. Uh, as you know, Hyundai introduced the venue in 2019 and it immediately became a huge success because we were able to raise the benchmark because we introduced the Blue Link, we introduced the turbo engine and we actually, the compact SUV segment really went up. Now it contributes a very healthy 21% to the overall industry and of course it is the biggest segment as well. Regarding the new venue, yes, the, the uh, earlier venue was doing very well but we thought that it, time has come for the new venue to be introduced. We have introduced 40 plus changes in the new venue. Of course, you can see the front which has become so bold. The rear, you know, it, it, it now has a connecting LED. The interiors, the black and the grey interiors. You can see the power seat on the uh, driver and of course, in the rear seat as well, you know, there is a reclining option. And of course, 60 plus connecting features from Blue Link and also some features have been embedded so that the customer gets a very, very fast response. Of course, home to car, Alexa. Uh, so, a lot of features are there depending on what the customer feedback was in the market we have been able to introduce and I think we are receiving a very, very good response for the same. Hyundai has been known for knowing the pulse of the market. So, what kind of trends you are seeing in the customers, you know, what kind of uh, trends you are spotting right now, you know, which you can know, develop the future products. I think this is very interesting because one very important trend which, we, which is very clearly visible is that the first time buyers are clearly shifting from hatches to SUVs and in fact out of our total venue sales 36 percent are first time buyers. The other trend which is very clearly visible is more and more high end cars are selling, more and more cars with sunroof are selling. For example, more than every one in three cars sold by Hyundai has a sunroof now. In fact, in venue as much of 46 percent of the venues sold are with sunroof. So, the, because of the penchant for features, customers do not don't mind paying a higher price also. In fact, one very interesting trend which is coming is that, you know, 10 lakh rupees was considered a very big barrier in India in terms of the car price and in 2018, only about, you know, 16 percent of the cars were less than uh, more than 10 lakh rupees. Now, 37 percent of the cars sold in India in the industry are more than 10 lakh rupees. For Hyundai, in fact, this number is 41 percent. So, my point is customers today do not want to compromise on the car. They want convenience, they want features, they want technology, they want design, they want space and they want that entire family should travel in comfort when they are in the car. So, does it mean Indian car market is shifting towards the premium uh, cars and you know plus variants like you mentioned about sunroof, you mentioned about automatic. Do you think the Indian customers are now looking for more convenience feature, more comfort, how it is? Absolutely. I think the trend is clearly there and uh, very clearly the customer is looking for more and more convenience and more and more technology and more and more comfort and also car as a lifestyle. Because one thing which, other thing which is happening is that generation MZ are really becoming very important. For example, in, in, in Hyundai's portfolio, 41 percent of, of my customers are now less than 35 years of age. So, very clearly these youngsters, they want cars which are very, very trendy, very, very smart, very, very, uh, you know, uh, ma matching their lifestyle and of course, connectivity. You have decades of experience in Indian car market and you have seen, you know, segments coming, going. I want to understand from you, you know, uh, when we see going forward in next 5 years or 10 years or let's say by 2030, do you think India will no longer remain a small car market or it will become the SUV market as so look, the global trade yeah. So, India is a very big market. First thing is please understand that India with a 3 million market, even if hatches are say 35 percent of the overall market, still it is more than 1 million. So, a market exists everywhere. Even Hyundai, if you see, we have the Neos, we have the i20, in the sedan segment, we have the Aura, we have the Varna. So, there is a strong market everywhere. But what is important is the trends are definitely, you know, moving towards SUV, trends are moving towards high-end cars, which means that probably more options would have to be given in, that seg in those segments. And also, we have to understand that the customer of today is really, really looking for for those features which were earlier available in very high-end cars or earlier available globally. And also, I think he is ready to pay the, uh, you know, price for those features as well. I think this is one big shift which is happening in India. I guess Hyundai has got the good up booking numbers. Uh, 
and there is a lot of excitement in the market but there are also other few factors which are just dragging down the market how do you see the overall market in next couple of months and this particular fiscal year yeah so i think uh, we all know about the semiconductor issue and we have about 135000 Uh, back orders from customers we are trying our best to really increase the production but of course there are issues we know there are geo geopolitical risks which are which are coming in and new and new challenges keep on coming but as one day we are doing our best i think the market is strong of course there are factors because the interest rates are going up uh, there is a inflation which is going up the fuel prices are high so there are some factor which are dragging it down at the same time what we have seen over the past uh, few years is that india has been able to isolate itself from many uh, you know global risks because we have a very strong domestic consumption and the sentiment here is much more positive and lot of of course rural economy also plays a very important role so we are hopeful we are cautiously optimistic that things in india the demand in india will continue to be strong but we have to keep an eye on those challenges which i mentioned one last question uh, how do you see fiscal year 23 for indian car market uh, will it touch the pre covid peak uh, how it how it I think we can we can definitely hope we can definitely hope that uh, that we should we should uh, we should see those pre covid peaks i think we uh, uh, hyundai works on calendar year we were at 3.1 million industry in calendar year 21 i think there are enough indications that yes we should see uh, some growth this year which would take it to the to the to the highest ever which was 2018 so let's hope for the best we still have a good 6 7 months to go as far as this calendar year is concerned so and like i said we are optimistic it or double digit growth very difficult to predict because like i said if it was only about the demand i think the question is very easy to answer but because there is a supply constraint as well so there are a lot of uh, you know ifs and buts about the final number what i can say is as of now uh, the demand is is quite good and 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 i think that gives us a lot of hope about the numbers thank you so much for joining thank you so much thank you